Hello everyone, this is a course on STM32 F4 series microcontroller and we will be using STM32 CubeMX as the code generator and Keel IDE version 5 as the IDE platform for writing our program in this course. So we will not be writing all the peripheral drivers and header files by our own in this course but we will be generating the code using STM32 CubeMX and this serves as the tutorial series for expertizing the CubeMX software and in this lecture we are just going to discuss what are all the hardware and software components required for this course. So let's begin with the hardware part. We are just going to use Nucleo F446RE development board throughout this course. This development board is having the microcontroller STM32 F446RE. So this microcontroller is based on ARM Cortex M4 architecture and you can see this is the microcontroller available in the nuclear development board and this is the board that we am going to use. In addition to the microcontroller available over here, this board is also having onboard debugger available in it. You can see this is the onboard debugger that is nothing but ST-Link version 2.1. And you can connect this USB port to the USB port of the PC through USB cable and then you can download the flash to this microcontroller as well as this acts as a debugger for debugging the code that is written in the microcontroller. So this is the most add-on feature that is very much useful for the debuggers and programmers out there. In addition to that, we are just having one LED that is LD2 that is available here and you can configure this LED as the output device and you can use it for testing. And secondly, we are having a user button connected to one of the pin of the GPIO of the microcontroller. And you can also use this button as the input device to this microcontroller. And thirdly, we are having the reset button which is used for resetting the program written in the microcontroller. And number four, we are having virtual COM port support. That is nothing but UART COM port 2 of this microcontroller is directly connected to this USB port. So you can transmit and receive data through UART through this USB port connected to PC. So this acts as a debugger and as a programmer for programming this microcontroller and also as a virtual COM port for this UART 2 for this microcontroller and regarding the GPIO ports of this microcontroller uh, we are having totally 5 ports in this microcontroller GPIO A is having 16 pins B and C is also having 16 pins and D is having 1 pin and H is having 2 pins so you just get to know that we are having this much pins in this nuclear development board and we will be discussing about each and every pins functionality and what are all the features of the pins in the future lectures and regarding the software components we are just going to use two main softwares as i said before keel microvision ide 5 for programming purpose and stm32 cubemx for code generating purpose that is we are not going to generate all the codes but we will be generating the peripheral drivers of the microcontroller using this software and then we will be writing our logic according to our WIS using this Keel IDE. And fourthly, these two are the necessary softwares for this development board or the microcontroller. First one is nothing but the debugger driver that is ST-Link driver and second one is nothing but the link firmware upgrade which is used for updating the firmware package available in the microcontroller by directly connecting it to PC. And I will show you where you can download all these softwares for free in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. See you in the next lecture.